All right. <laughs> Be helpful if I actually got some Windex that was actual Windex. Get off my car. Okay, so I'm installing some decals on the Camaro. It's just my um, YouTube logo and all that nonsense. I'm recording this all in a different day than I did the plastic dipping. I don't know, I may just turn these into two separate videos, but um, I have YouTube logos that go on my car that I just made. Let's see if it peels up properly. Nope, it's not peeling up. Okay, and so I cut out the, ooh, don't fall. So I cut out the center, center to, um, actually I was gonna use it as a background, but mom was like, uh, you might just wanna use white so it's more visible to see, and I'm like, yeah. And so I had extra paper that I was gonna use and that did not work out too well, so. I'm just gonna use some scrap paper that um, it's gonna get tossed away anyway, so might as well use it. And I just want it over just enough. So like this is my first time doing something like this, so bear with me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I never put decals on my car for any reason. But since this YouTube channel is taken off pretty well thought it'd be a good idea to you know start branding it and start taking it to the next level bro this stuff this is some serious adhesive hopefully i don't mess it up i just don't want it to overlap on the on the red too much because this adhesive has a little bit more like residue on it or the white adhesive has a little bit more residue than a red does, so yeah. Mm, so we just work it around like this. I don't care about the air bubbles that's actually on on it itself because those don't matter. Because like, I mean, as I should say, as long as it's the um the air bubbles aren't on the um red itself it should be fine but if it's on like from the clear then it really doesn't matter because that's getting filled up anyway so hopefully this sticks because i did not clean the window too well and i just thought about it i'm not supposed to re go back and re-clean it <laughs> all right let's oh yeah oh yeah it has a few air bubbles but that's fine okay yeah it has a few air bubbles but that is okay Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. All right. Let's do this one. This one may be a little bit more harder to transfer over. Oh, thing is just placing this on here now to where it is nice prime and sexy think about there is good let's do a few more passes get really on there make sure there's no make sure there's no air bubbles in this like there is like these air bubbles is gonna bother me just a little bit but I'm not going to be looking at it every day, so 
shouldn't bother me too much. YouTube channel yes looks pretty good looks perfect actually okay so let's put this other one on where did the squeegee go and also in this video I'm going to be installing the taillight tent it should be here any minute now just waiting on that that's another reason why I decided to record this this is not the main part of the video <clears throat> or main point of the video in that main part but I'm gonna get these tinted up I gotta clean those off just waiting for the uh either UPS or a mailman to get here either one I don't know which one is coming by I mean I want it to be perfect OCD and everything but as long as it show displays my YouTube channel I'm okay with that because you know this is a revitalized channel or revamped brought back to live channel whatever you want to call it and so I'm just trying to do whatever I can to make this old gaming channel a automotive channel and it is going pretty fantastic so far. It's almost back to where it was when it was called Bear Boy Gaming. If you guys are still around from that, you guys are OGs. I made that channel when I was, I think, 13 or 14 at the time. And I had 11, I think 11,000 when I stopped. And since I stopped, you know, People aren't going to stay subscribed to a channel that's not posting. YouTube takes away inactive subs and all that type of stuff. So I've lost, I think, in the last two years of me not uploading, I think I lost like maybe 100 or so subs. Actually, no, I think I lost more than that. I was almost at 12,000 at one point. And so, you know, YouTube did what they do with the uh, inactive sub thing. They, they, they do it like maybe once a year or so, like when they do like a major purge of all the interactive channels from YouTube channels and stuff like that. I mean, it's kind of stupid, but I mean, they, they pretty much have a reason behind the madness, so I'm not going to question it. I mean, YouTube doesn't sign my paychecks anymore, so I mean, at a point they did sign my paychecks and you know, that was amazing. But <clears throat> since I stopped uploading and everything like that and then the whole YouTube thing went down what was that that just scraped my car but ever, ever since the like the thing with youtube went down uh to where you had to have a certain amount of watch hours i stopped uploading i had i had the uh requirements or no I, I was like maybe a few i think like a few hundred watch hours short and it was at the end of the month of january and i <laughs> i uh I was busy. I was busy with school. I was a senior in high school, so I was busy with school and I couldn't, you know, dedicate all my time to YouTube and just crank out videos every day to get that few extra hundred watch hours. Because at the time, I think the videos were getting like a few thousand views. But yeah, at the time, the videos were getting a few thousand views, but oh my lord, it's hot and humid now. And the views really didn't matter. It was the watch hours that mattered. So you can have like 10,000 views. But if all those people only watch like 30 seconds, that's really nothing. So. Just a little food for thought. If anybody wants to get into YouTube, you got to get 4,000 watch hours. Which is it, not hard. I mean, I started this channel back up uh, in January, I think. And I'm already back at like almost a thousand watch hours with just 13 videos that are 10 minutes each. So I'm, I'm on a pretty fast track. Ooh, no, not my car. I'm on a pretty good track to uh, being back to where I was with making YouTube videos and being, you know, getting the sponsorships and stuff like that. Because, I mean, if I do get sponsorships for this car, that will make this build go by faster. Or go by 10 times faster because I'm still in college. <laughs> so, you know, I got to be smart with my money. I can't just spend all my money on just my car, which I would love to do. But I can't do that. Let's see. There we go. And boom, there we go. Those kids were looking at me like I was going to cry. So, yeah, I did change the name of the channel once again. It was Mustang Pulse, but 
for so many reasons i had to just change the channel name literally i don't just have a mustang anymore so that was literally the main reason why and with the new channel name i can think of so many ideas of what to do with like merch and stuff like that once that time comes around but that's going to be you know a few thousand subs away when i have time to do stuff like that again because at, at first i had a uh, bear boy gaming merch which was selling like crazy at the time and so ooh, is that a scratch on my door that is a scratch on my door that probably there before i got the car okay so hopefully hopefully so that's there before i got the car but i need to clean this car in and out it is filthy on the outside but i can't really clean it because it's supposed to rain every day for spring break and I'm, I'm not even going back to school anytime soon because of the coronavirus so i have time i have time uh but yeah that is the car vinyl install i'm going to be let me just get the ball real quick i'm going to be uh picking the video up once the tail light tent comes i mean i have it in my trunk but yeah, I have it in my trunk, but they forgot to send me a part or part of the uh, tent. Like they literally sent one side of tent and not the other side. So all I have is like all the side markers, the reverse lights and all that type of stuff. And I only have one side of the tent. I don't know why, but they did. And excuse the dirty, excuse the dirty trunk. Had pat pack my car to come back home. And so my trunk never doesn't usually look like that. Trust me, keeping my car clean as possible just not when it's raining every freaking day it literally has rained every day and today it was supposed to rain it rained earlier this morning it was raining like crazy you can tell by how the, what the ground is but it was raining earlier like crazy and you know it doesn't make sense to watch a car and it's gonna rain the very next day so i'm gonna pick the video back up once the vinyl gets here it should be here any minute now oh yeah right there right there right there is that the right one though kind of short yeah, that ain't the right one. That's for that one. How do you know? Yeah, okay. Um, spread it with water. Some more water. I'm leaving it in there. Come on, man. Mama and daddy gonna know who, who you really are. <laughs> <laughs> Something ain't right. This pre cutting. Let's try the other side. What you mean? That's the sticky side. No, I'm talking about the other side of the car. Damn, Taj, what's going on? This don't make no sense. Look like you do the same thing. Somebody ain't pre-cut right. Yeah, I think it's this one. The corners match up, yeah. The corners match up for it, so I think it's this one. Nigga, what the fuck is up with this? Why is that tent so damn short? Bro, I'm gonna say that's not me, it's the damn tent. Now, Hold I on. Got it to where it let, me, let me get the bezel and see. Where did the bezel? Who the hell just threw them on the floor like this? Okay, so listen, I ain't throw them on the floor. I set them to the side because I, 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 I was hungry at midnight. I was supposed to put them back, but I, I got pissed off because I couldn't reach the, the hot pockets. Oh, that's what it is. That covers it. Okay, just make sure. No, I just want to see if it covered it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm about to send this part right, right back. I remember how long it took us to do that damn Mustang. Where the water go? All right, when we finish the left side or the right side, I'm gonna catch up back with you guys. I just realized we didn't even get in a picture. But when we finish the right side, we're gonna catch up back with you guys. Gonna turn the camera off and you know focus on doing this because it's real tedious. So be right back. All right, so that took about maybe 20, 30 minutes or so to do one side. I finished the reverse light, finished the two uh, tail lights, and it came up pretty well it didn't come out too well because like the how many contours that the um tail light has like it is curved the awkward way so i, I don't I can't really explain it because like it comes out like this and then it also comes down like this so and then we got the reverse light right here they all have a few bubbles in them but those will come out eventually like they did on the mustang uh, okay are you, are you, okay oh yeah that that didn't change it much at all so that's stock and then that's the, that's the tent and that's stock right there so as you can see it didn't change it much at all really it still looks the same color 
So yeah, that was kind of the thing I was worried about because when I pulled it out, it was really dark, like darker than the Mustangs, and the Mustang one was dark. So kind of happy about that. It looks pretty good so far. We're gonna finish tackling the side markers in the last tent or tail light tent right there, and we're gonna be going. All right, I'll catch you guys later. All right, we're done with the install. I decided to just keep the camera off and just focus on doing it. The tent was not the best tent. It was just some cheap eBay tent that I wanted to try because uh, I had good luck with the eBay tent in the past on a Mustang and it worked perfectly fine. He doesn't even have my keys, do he? My keys are, no, my keys are in the car. No, my keys are on the floor. You gotta have the keys. I know. They were on the floor. Well, put the car in reverse like this. We also have this one done right here and we have to do the front ones in a second but those are only going to take like a few seconds because the reverse and these took literally like five seconds to do like no joke no joke at all it were really quick please don't run me over and we're about to just show you guys the reverse lights let my car warm up first reverse oh damn that did no difference to the tail lights at all, or to the reverse lights at all. Still look the same. But yeah, so the tent, it's kind of weird. It's like, you can, it's like, the light that's being emitted is not blocked by the tent at all. But looking at it, it's darker, which I love. So I mean, in that sense, it's a good tent, but as far as applying it as the vinyl, it is horrible. Uh, the worst tent I've ever worked with, the worst vinyl I've ever worked with, to be honest with you guys. But... It, it did it did what it's supposed to do who's calling my phone all right guys so if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to like favorite subscribe all that good stuff uh have some more videos on the way it just taken me a while to edit these videos because i'm really lazy and my school you know everything's on quarantine so you got to do school work online now so i'm getting a lot more school work than i normally did okay so yeah thank you guys for tuning in peace out Thank you.